These are the seven things I wish I knew before I started my six-figure reselling business. Running a reselling business can be a long and grueling process from receiving bad information or just misinformation or even getting scammed. Just like any business, starting from fresh is a big learning curve for beginners. So again, here are the seven things I wish I knew before I started my business. Number one of seven, and this is honestly the biggest one, reselling is a business, not a hobby. I see a lot of people who come into this game who treat it like a hobby. They don't take it as serious as a business, and therefore they don't get as much success as those who do. Now, that's not to be said, I'm still a sneakerhead. I love shoes. This is one of my favorite shoes that came out recently. I still love it. Does that mean I can't make profit on it? No. And again, if you really want to have a strong, successful business, you need to treat it like a business. It can't be a hobby. You have to take this seriously and you have to know that you're dealing with money. Now, here's the bright side of owning a business instead of a hobby. You get access to a lot of really cool features that normal Americans don't get access to. So a big example is getting an LLC and getting the tax deductions with that. Because I have an LLC and this is a real business, I get to write off everything that is a business expense. So this camera that I'm recording on, these lights I have, literally everything you see behind me, anything that is a business expense, I get to write it off. Last year, I wrote off my entire car, my computer, my Wi-Fi, everything. And there's plenty of other tax routes you can get from having a business, but that's the key. I have an actual business with the government and I get those benefits. Another cool thing I can do is write off my education. So business coaching, I'm always investing into other opportunities so I can learn new things, develop my business even more and more. So last year I invested almost $100,000 into business coaching. All of that was a write off. So that's something that people in my program actually do. They write off my program. They also will write off, you know, their shipping labels or their boxes, just simple things like that. I can go into way more depth about having a business, but honestly, most people don't realize the big benefits that you can get from treating this like a business instead of a hobby. Number two, listening to the people who are in the situations and the positions that I want to be in. And this goes with anything in life, but it's how I scaled my business from zero to 10K in profit in six months. I surrounded myself with a community of people who are already successful resellers when someone like me who hadn't even sold a shoe before, I didn't know what I was doing, but these guys were able to help me out and guide me towards the right direction. Basically, all I did was listen to the people that were ahead of me. You can't stay in your comfort zone. It's going to hold you back and you're going to miss out on a ton of different things. And again, these are some of my first YouTube videos, but I used to be horrible on camera. Go back to my Instagram and scroll back to my old videos about two years ago. I was horrible, but I kept doing it over and over again. And I listened to a mentor of mine who told me, hey, Caden, you have to take the time and post daily on Instagram. It's going to be huge for you. And I did. Number three, patience is what's going to make you the big bucks. Reselling is not a get rich quick scheme. Yes, you can make thousands of dollars in a few hours if you get some good flips. But honestly, this is a big business that's going to take a while to build up consistently. And it does take time to get down. I've seen people struggle for months before they get it right. I've also seen people get success in their first few weeks. So don't feel like you're stuck if you've been at 500 or 1,000 bucks a month for a while. There's plenty that you can do to continue to grow. Patience is also really important when it comes to selling for the absolute highest prices. I see a lot of people undercut the market and sell their shoes way less than what it's actually worth. And funny story, the shoe that I made the most money on ever was a $64 pair of ACG boots. I had to wait over three months for it to sell, but I made a $400 profit. The fourth biggest thing I wish I knew was how to save money as many ways as possible. You have to be able to save money as many ways as possible. Let me show you a few ways. One big example is $5 shipping labels. What that means is you can ship anywhere in the US for only $5. The reason that's so big is because I teach to charge 20 bucks shipping on eBay, which means if you charge 20 bucks shipping and only have to pay five bucks for the label, you make $15 profit each shoe that you sell. So if you're selling a thousand pairs of shoes every year, you're instantly making an extra $15,000 just from the shipping label. Another big one, USPS.com has free boxes. So you can literally go on there and your postman will come the next day or that next week and drop them off at your doorstep completely free. This one isn't necessary. I didn't need it when I first started, but I do recommend getting one a label printer. Basically what it will do is print out labels for you. You don't have to use any ink. It's all thermal and the paper is already stickers. So you can just peel it off, slap on the box, super, super easy. Another big one is cashback services like Rakuten and Top Cashback. These services, if you activate them on your computer, you basically get huge cashback. So right now Nike's at 8%, meaning that if you bought a $200 Jordan, you will get it $16 off for doing nothing. So this is where we make money with reselling. We take a $200 pair of shoes, we use a 20% code to get it $40 off, and then we use Rakuten to get it maybe another eight or 10% off. So you're saving another 16 to 20 bucks there. That's how we get shoes under 30% off all the time. And again, saving money doesn't really matter that much because you can get all these write-offs with actually having a business, like I said in step one, but it totally will add up over the course of a year or two or even five years. Now this might seem counterintuitive, but step number five, the more you spend, the more money you're gonna make. Big issue I see resellers have is they don't continue to buy shoes. So when they buy 10 pairs of shoes, they might sell 10 pairs of shoes in a month and they're like, that's great, but how many shoes do you have left? Zero. So the way to actually scale and grow your reselling business is you have to be buying more shoes than you're selling. That means don't take out your profits, continue to reinvest them in your business so your inventory can grow and grow and grow. 
this is a big moment in my recent life business. About four months in, I checked my bank account and I had $16,000 profits. Now, again, I remember this because two months later, I go back and check and I go, why do I still have $16,000 sitting in my bank account? I've been reselling. I've been doing really well over these two months. What happened? Well, come to realize two months later, my inventory had grown from 100 pairs to 300 pairs, meaning I didn't take out that profit. I kept reinvesting into my business, reinvesting into more pairs so I could get more. There's a rule you guys should know. It's called the three to 4% rule. And what that means is on average, every day you will sell around three to 4% of your inventory. So if you're selling with only 10 pairs and I have 100, I'm gonna sell three to four pairs a day. You might not even sell one. That's why it's important to continue to increase your inventory because the more shoes you have, again, obviously the more you're gonna sell. Now again, I'm still a sneaker head. So the rule I made was every month I would keep one pair of shoes per person. That shoe wouldn't be retail. I would usually buy these shoes used and get a really good deal so that eventually if I was done wearing it, I could sell it and still get the money. Number six, buy things that work for you and continue to buy them over and over again. Sometimes you just gotta stick with what you're good at. For example, a pair that's always sold great for me are Kyrie's. And again, this was a shoe I picked up recently, the Kyrie 8s. These never release, but because I buy Kyrie so often, they stuck right out to me. And again, this is true with a lot of different models, Air Forces, Air Maxes, things like that. If I see them in store, I'm always gonna take a look at them because I know for a fact that I've sold them in the past and that they sell well, so I don't even have to guess about how quickly they're gonna sell. And last but not least, price over product, which is the pinnacle of any reselling business. And what that means is look at the price of a shoe rather than the product itself. For example, Kyrie's, I buy them all the time for around 40 bucks. You can buy five of them for the price of one Jordan. So for a new pair of Jordan 4s, you might make $100, but with five pairs of Kyrie's, you can make $50 on each, which means you're making more money overall with less money spent. Now, if you have unlimited money and you can afford to buy whatever you want, obviously buy anything that's gonna make you money. But if you have to be selective with your capital, buy shoes that are gonna get you huge margins in a little bit of time. I use this shoe all the time as an example. These Air Forces, I picked up 100 of them for only $45 each. This shoe retails 110. Now let me ask you this, would you buy this shoe at 110 if it only sells for around 80 to $90? Probably not. But if I told you you could buy them for $45 and they sell for around 80 to 90, then it sounds like a whole lot better deal. Again, that's the essence of price over product. The shoe doesn't matter. It's the price you're paying for it, which will justify if it's worth buying or not. So yeah, those are the seven biggest things I wish I knew before I started my reselling business. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Right now I'm actually giving away my free mini course. So if you guys want access to it, just go to the description down below, click that link, you'll join the discord and you'll have access to my free mini course. I'm gonna be posting two or three videos like this every week, so subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Instagram. Feel free to message me on Instagram as well if you have any questions, I reply to every DM that I get. Talk soon, peace.